Today, we are reacting to and breaking down all the crazy medical type situations and injuries from the TV show, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. But before we get into it, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm an ER doctor. If you enjoy the educational reaction videos and other stuff you see here on this channel, do me a favor and smash that subscribe button and turn those bell notifications on. That way you learn when I post a new video. All right, let's dive right in. I see that you don't believe me. Why so would I? I'm prepared to take a blood oath with you. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god, dude! Oh, what the heck? Oh, it hurts so much! You got tendons, nerves, ligaments. You slice that too deep, you're not gonna have function to be able to actually flex your fingers. Come on, don't do that. All right, quick, shake on it. No, I'm not gonna touch your- I love the blood oath. I gotta close this wound. Yeah, here, just plunge. It's good that they didn't shake hands because you shouldn't be mixing each other's blood. That's how, like, diseases are passed. Get up, oh, man. That is so not as- Oh, with a disgusting, dirty <laughs> sock. What a bad idea. You have now have to worry about being infected, disgusting funguses that are in socks and whatnot, gross. Is Frank Charlie's dad or not? I don't know, I don't know who that is. What I do know is I came to work this morning to find a very large bucket of blood in my lap. <laughs> Sample, obviously. Oh my gosh, that's all his blood. We shouldn't be pouring out the eight to 10 pints of blood that we have in our body. That would cause us to be very hypovolemic, low volume, cause tachycardia, hypotension, and we will kill an individual if you take that much blood. You can't function with an acute blood loss that great. It was a mess. Was so, like it was blood everywhere, but we caught enough of it. Yeah, we must have caught a deep vein or I something. Think. Most of this came from one man. Did we take too much? Yeah. Yes. You yes. took too much. So is Frank Charlie's dad or not? The only thing that I can tell you is that based off of how much blood is in this bucket, your friend is in desperate need of blood. If you're losing this much blood, we actually do a mass transfusion protocol. You can potentially get up to 10 units of blood, platelets, FFP, which is fresh frozen plasma. If you just give the red blood cells back, you're not giving enough of the other components back. If you have a cut somewhere, you don't have any of the clotting factors and the clotting cascades to stop the bleeding. <laughs> Oh my gosh. How would you even describe something like that? It's so beautiful. No, thank you. They should have sent the poet. Why is he all bruised up and red marks everywhere? But those red marks could be traumas, injuries, bruising, Carposi sarcoma from HIV. Could be hickeys, bruising to the skin, most likely. Oh, I love a little bit of water. Good, right? Oh, that's great. That'll do it. Oh, who's going? I hope there's real water flowing. It should be you, right? I mean, you pulled off the AIDS thing. Got AIDS, I'm assuming, and now he's at a water park. Is he putting other people at risk? Unless he's like pouring out blood, he's not really gonna pass it along to anybody. Water's got Clorox and bleach in it, and he's not actively bleeding. Oh, oh, oh there is no water flow. Oh my gosh. To use a slide, you need to have it like coated with water so you don't cause a burn like that. Oh, look at his back. Oh my god, look at all the blood. Literally, I just said unless there's like blood pouring out of him and then it just has blood pouring out. Like, that's disgusting. In general, everybody needs to get out of the water. Is that blood? There's AIDS blood in the pool! It's got the AIDS blood! <laughs> oh my gosh! So now you have exposure to blood. Biggest thing is mucous membrane. So is it getting through in your eye, your mouth? That is an issue. You need to wash those out. And if there is a worry of an exposure, you do HIV prophylaxis. So Matt, these blood tests are gonna show you the damage that you've been doing to your body. I hope is that it will incentivize you to finally lose some of this disgusting weight you've put on. <laughs> They're appropriately wearing the hospital gowns. The opening is to the back, so it's appropriately wearing that. This is ridiculous, dude. All right, I don't eat lunch anymore, for instance. Yeah, and on odd days, I don't eat breakfast. That sounds miserable. No, dude, it's not miserable. Well, yeah, it is a little bit miserable, but it has to be, man. No pain, no gain. The reason why we do intermittent fasting is time-restricted eating is also another way to do it. You're allowing your body a break from eating, and studies have shown that it potentially could help you get into ketosis, which is really hard to do, actually. Most of the time, with time-restricted eating, it just allows you to eat in a certain period of time, which usually, because the time is shorter, you're going to eat less, so then you potentially will lose weight. Read the results. Well, I see uh, severe dehydration here, multiple vitamin deficiencies, anemia. It's got to be the Ooh. intermittent fasting guy. I want you to fret, okay? I'm going to get you on my exercise program. I'm going to get you fit as a fiddle. Uh, these, are, these are your results, Mr. Reynolds. Yep. What? No, those can't be my, my results. I'm healthy as sh the fact that his intermittent fasting is causing him to have dehydration, that is a reaction to potentially poor eating and dehydration versus intermittent fasting. That wouldn't cause that. You have type two adult onset diabetes. Ooh. <gasps> type two adult onset diabetes? 
What is diabetes? That well, that means you're going to have to inject yourself several times a day with insulin. Type two basically means you had the function of your pancreas that was producing insulin, and now you've burnt out function of the pancreas itself producing insulin is not working the way that it should. We give meds first to tell the pancreas to make more insulin. Or else you probably need to think about losing a little weight. Early on in your process, if you get healthy, reduce body fat, body then becomes more sensitive to insulin, and then you might be able to reverse the diabetes that you have. Um, I have cancer. Yeah, but I gotta go. Yeah. What? I'm sorry, what? I have what? lung cancer. What? Oh no. But how? You don't even smoke. There are other ways to get lung cancer. It's typically an injury to the DNA sequence of the cell. Environmental things can cause it. Mishaps can just cause it in an accident of the gene sequencing itself. You know, <coughs> it's just one of those freak things. Anything that you inhale in your lungs potentially can increase your risk of potential cancer. Guys, my mom has lung cancer. Calm down, calm down, okay? Because my mom has a doctor oh. that can cure the cancer for 4,200 bucks, so no big deal. Why is 4,200 bucks? To cure cancer, that's it? Sometimes there's a place for alternative medicines. At the end of the day, if you potentially believe it's gonna work, there's a possibility that it's going to work. I use ancient homeopathic remedies derived from the mother earth. You can't get no cleaner than that. Well, I understand the clean component, but you know how many plants are deadly to humans? You have to be really careful of what you're actually ingesting, how it's prepared, all of that. Dr. Jinx, I have a eczema situation that's burning me up good. Do you have anything for oh. that? Oh, that's not eczema. Eczema is basically your body's aggressive response to something. And typically it's treated with steroids. And if it's horrible, there's sometimes immune modulators. So it has to do with your own immune system reacting to something. What you have there, my friend? That sailor's rot. I've never heard of sailor's rot. S sailor's rot? I, I'm not a sailor, Dr. Jenks. When the last time you've been to Haiti? Never. I've never been to, I've been to Kensington. <laughs> when you was in Kensington, did you have intercourse with any hoes, ladies of the nice, or prostitutes? No. Don't I worry have... about it. And I'm assuming it's related to down in the groin area, but sometimes you can get like syphilis as a rash to the skin somewhere else. I got what you need. Okay. Let's, let's... I love the, oh, oh, oh. Oh, that burns. Oh. Mother Earth don't play. We have topical steroids. Sometimes there's transdermal absorption of different medications. Very rarely would it work in that situation. A lot of times the body's just overreacting. It could be fungus, it could be infection with a bacteria, it could be a systemic issue causing an outward sign of a rash. I feel like it's gonna be a week <laughs> before your system gets back to normal. You, you can't just eat Charlie! Oh my gosh, she fell out the window. Shit, are you okay? That looked high. The major rule of thumb for trauma is if it's greater than three times your height or 15 feet, that's a major trauma. Right. What? Hey! Are you okay? Right. Where are you going? Obviously, he has a head injury. He's got blurry vision. You got to worry about cervical fracture as well. Oh, sh man. Are you okay? And who might you be? Frank fell out my window. You seem like a really nice kid, but my head is fine. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh. That's horrific. Oh, it's Bad, a skull. Right? She said you can see skull, like, yeah, you can see skull. Like the tissue back there is probably about a centimeter thick. But yeah, you can get all the way down the skull. Hopefully he doesn't have a skull fracture. Who's the president of the United States? Dick Cheney. He's pulling all the strings. Oh shit, Frank, what year do you think it is? 2006. When you hit the head in the back like that, the brain smashes to the front of the skull and goes back to increase your risk for a subdural hematoma as well as brain bruising, which then can cause amnesia, axonal injuries, where you can't remember anything. And the question is, does it come back? A lot of times it's hard to know. Welcome to Patty's Pub, the oldest pub in America. So spread the word <laughs> to all your friends. At Patty's Pub, you're guaranteed to catch a virus. So I love he's got the classic mirror that nobody uses anymore. You got pictures of anatomy in the back. You got the eye chart. He's in his like stethoscope, jacket, attire. Looks pretty good. Just ask this guy. I got infected. Get it away from me. Or her. No, I'm busy. She looks like she caught a bug. <laughs> so spread this video to all your friends because it's a computer virus. Virus. Even has like the, the reflex hammer in his left hand, which we barely ever use. And it's to check for deep tendon reflexes. And it's a neurologic exam study that we do. That's just to make sure that you have normal lower motor function having to do with like spinal cord to tendon reflex. Take it from me. I am a doctor. Dr. Toboggan. <laughs> Mantis Toboggan. Believe me, I'm the doctor. See, anybody can just pop on the internet, 
put a fancy white coat on and say that they're a doctor. And you can actually look any doctor up online, at least in the United States, check the medical degree. This was good. I've never seen Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I really enjoyed it. It had some good medical clips, it had some weird stuff. As always, some of the medical scenes are totally inappropriate. Some a little bit accurate. This was great. If you enjoyed this, check out this playlist right here. I know you're gonna like it. As always, subscribe, turn the bell notifications on. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.